All right. You guys get to watch me uh, make a trigger. So I'm going to tell you what I'm going to try to do here. Um, I've got in my overhaul mod, uh, the Date Daimyo starts with One-Eyed Dragon. Uh, that's in the start pause. I gave him that trait. I do not have a trigger for this trait because I wanted him to be the only one that has it. So I've decided um, I'm going to give this trait to the Date's Daimyo. So if he dies and his son becomes Daimyo, um, he, he's going to get the same portrait. So I'm going to go ahead and give him the same trait, One-Eyed Dragon. Um, so I'm going to pull up... Uh, so you just pull up Pack File Manager. And you can watch one of my other videos I go over how to install this. It's really simple. You just download a program, open it up, and point to the file path where your game's at. Um, so I'm going to open... Four Strider Straits, that's where my triggers are. Go to find the trait first. I believe it is. Where's my Daimyo traits? It's this one right here. All right, so now we want to export the triggers. So we're going to extract, extract selected. Overwrite. You might not get that overwrite option. If it's the first time you're extracting, you're going to go into your uh, follow this path, go into Shogun 2. And I'm not sure if your extracted folder is going to be called first or if I named that or not. I don't think I named that. Pretty sure it's just what it's named. And if that's the only thing you've extracted so far, there's only going to be one file in here. And it's going to be export triggers. So if you click on it, it'll open up a notepad. Um, I use Notepad++, so I'm going to right-click, edit with Notepad++. No, I don't want to update. Okay. So I've already created a trigger similar to this. So I'm going to control F. I'll put is daimyo. There's the cruel triggers. Looking for the Chosakabe one. Let's do a count. All right, there's only eight. Uh. There we go. Okay, so this is one condition that I want to copy. In conditions, character faction name. So we're obviously going to change that. I'm just going to copy this, open up a new notepad, paste. And then we need, um, let's go back to is daimyo, because we're going to need this condition here. What else are we going to need? Um, so uh, I could, I'm, I'm going to make, probably going to make two triggers. Character becomes Daimyo. Actually, you know, one trigger should work. Um, and I'll probably do an end turn trigger since uh, if you're just using the traits mod and you're not using my overhaul mod, then um, I want you to be able to get this trait for um, the daimyo. So the only way to do that is going to be the when you start up the game, it's going to pull all the traits from the start pause. I don't want to create a new start pause because then the mod will not be compatible with pretty much any other mod, any other overhaul mod. Um, so your general or your daimyo and generals are all going to start with whatever traits are in your start pause. So what I'm going to do is create a trigger to where the very first time you hit end turn, it's going to apply this trait to the daimyo. Um, so let's do... Go back to the chess... Chess a cup.
So the Chosakabe is a little bit different. I, I created this trigger to uh, give it to everybody that's part of this clan, the Tasa Born. So I created three triggers for that. Copy this. Okay, so character in turn. Let's go back into Pack File Manager. We're going to go to Trigger Effects Tables because we've got to create a new trigger. Add new row. 48. Uh, the trait is not going to have a drop down box. Fantastic. Let's go back here. To trait daimyo dot say right there. Copy this. Go back to triggers. All right, we're gonna make it uh, one value and one hundred percent chance. And this is the first trigger I'm making for this trait because. The only way you can get this trait right now is with my overhaul mod um, through the start pause. So there's no need for a trigger. It just gives it to you uh, when you start up the game. Um, so let's copy the trigger. Paste it here. And turn if conditions and we want that is daimyo. Copy this. Looks right. Faction name. Um, I think all the faction names are spelled properly except for, let me just open up the data pack, except for the, uh, the Hattori clan is uh, Iga Ninja. Let me open it. Let me try to just open up my Japan. I probably got it in there somewhere. Try to find a table. I don't have it, but the only clan that's not named the same way they are in the game is um, the Hattori. They're Iga, under, Iga underscore Ninja is the clan name. We're going to make this Date. Um, if conditions is is daimyo for this clan only then effect we want to give it this trait so we're going to copy this trait okay and that's already that's already one point for a hundred percent chance Let's save. Check one more thing here. Character character trait levels tables. I just want to make sure this trait is a uh, has a threshold of one. Yeah, it does. Okay, because if this were set at five. There's a hundred percent chance each turn it's going to give us one point. It would take five turns to get the uh, the trait. So we want to just take the very we want it to be the very first turn. Okay, now let's delete the. So we've already saved this. So I'm deleting that. Right click, add files. We're at this uh, Shogun first, where your triggers are. Export triggers. Click there. There it is. Green file save and then it moves down here everything's saved so let's test the game out all right so i'm going to uncheck japan because this has got it in the start pause so we want to we want to actually test and see if the the traits are working so i'm going to go ahead and check traits and I'm going to go ahead and check promotion. These two kind of go together.
and I'm running, I run uh, Direct, DirectX 9, it makes the game load so much faster because when you're making these mods, I've probably loaded this game 2,000, 3,000 times over, over the summer, so quite a lot. Sega. You're probably getting some feedback here. Let me turn this down. So we're going to go to Shogun 2. Ate. Let's make it easy. Alright, so he should start out with... Uh, Generic traits. Okay, that's the starting general. Keyboards. There we go, losing connection. So yeah, these uh, th these are the starting traits. Obviously, I've changed the name of some of the starting traits, but these are still the starting traits the game starts you with. So we'll just go ahead and hit end turn. There we are, trait gained. One-eyed dragon. Plus 12 melee attack, enable stand and fight. Not at the top anymore, but it's still there. So, not only do we add this without doing the start pause, um, when this daimyo dies and the next one takes his place, the very next turn, He's also going to have One-Eyed Dragon. And that's it. Now I'm going to go through and probably do a few more, but I just wanted to show you guys how to do it real quick on this video. Have a good day. Bye.